A couple of days ago, an airline firm released this image of what they see as the future of air travel. Double-decker seats. Hey, it's all fun and games until the guy in green eats the microwave lasagna you get on a cheap flight and engulfs the girl in pink in a cloud of... Well, we're not even gonna say it, okay? But if you've ever been on an airplane, you know. Low cost and economy flights have always been the necessary evil. They suck, but they get the job done. You get used to the yelling, the sale of merch and lottery tickets, the clapping when you land and the screaming babies. It's almost like a rite of passage or something. And then you make it. You finally get to a stage in your professional life that affords you to fly in comfort. This video is a window into what that experience is gonna be like. Here are 15 things you learn when you fly first class for the first time. It's a measure of the person you're becoming. Flying first class or business for the first time is an indicator that you're making progress in your life. You're now someone who's worthy of preferential treatment because of your value. No matter if you paid for the flight or your company did, the value is clear. Flying first class means you're being chauffeured to the plane or you've got direct access straight from your lounge. You don't board like everyone else. This is a perk reserved for the elite of society or those willing to pay for it. It's a celebratory experience. You start your journey with champagne because it's a celebration of how far you've come and what awaits you once you land at your destination. The air hostess smiles just a little bit wider. You're meant to relax here and take it easy. You get a warm towel the moment you take your seat. The headphones come with noise cancellation and you get a storage compartment so you can kick off your shoes. From the moment you board, you settle in to comfort. The staff gives you the attention you deserve. The thing about first class is that your experience comes first. If you ask for it, the next glass of champagne comes immediately after you finish your first. They learn your name and keep in mind your preferences throughout the flight. They're polite and never in a hurry. Airplane food comes with an a la carte menu. Once you take off, you'll receive your menu with everything you can try. Flying first class or business disproves the myth that altitude messes with your taste buds. The food actually tastes pretty amazing because they make sure to overcompensate on the salt or simply because it's not the cheap refrigerated casserole meals stuck in a microwave. 95% of what you eat in first class is freshly cooked for you that day before you board the plane and, and it's only just plated once you're up in the air. When the food arrives, your hostess sets up the table for you with a tablecloth and everything. The wine pairings are actually on point. Oh, and did we mention there's caviar, lobster, and steak? In first class or on select airlines, you even have your own snack cabinet for in-between meals. You'll never look at flights over five hours the same way ever again. You know how people say it's the journey, not the destination? Well, there are only a few places more relevant than in air travel. When flying economy, you can't wait for the flight to be over to get to where you're going because you feel cramped and semi-miserable the entire way. As humans, we're okay with mild discomfort for short periods of time, so it's not going to make that much of a difference for a short flight. But if you're flying direct from Frankfurt to Miami, the story is going to be a lot different. Once you experience the level of comfort money can buy, it's a really hard decision to go back to economy. Lying flat and sleeping is the closest thing to teleportation. There's no such thing as being bothered by other people reclining their seats in first class or even in business class. Your entire universe is in your little pod. You control what happens there. The seat can be adjusted in multiple positions to fit your needs. The biggest change is you experience turning your seat into a bed. In business class, you do it yourself with the push of a button. In first class, someone comes up and makes the bed for you, believe it or not, with fresh linens, a pillow, and blanket. If you've got a cabin, there's even enough room for you to slide into your PJs right there without having to go to the bathroom. Overnight flights are the best. Just lay down comfortably and go to sleep. You'll wake up in four to five hours with just a few minutes left to your destination. Travel isn't just about getting from point A to point B. 
Life is terribly busy these days, so having six to eight hours to yourself is actually a luxury that few can afford. Watching a full-length movie or reading a book, playing a video game, or in the case of modern airlines, watching live sports are all extraordinary options. The fact you can do it comfortably makes an even bigger difference and you actually look forward to it. At this point, Wi-Fi is a non-negotiable so you can catch up with your favorite series undisturbed by the urgencies of your day-to-day -day life. The world can wait until you land. You're surrounded by other successful or interesting people. If you're flying business or the first class seats don't come with the separate pods, you'll likely have people around you, and all of them are either wealthy, celebrities, or working for prominent companies. Since you're stuck on an airplane for this long, you may or may not choose to engage in conversation. This proves to be an extraordinary opportunity for networking and sharing of insights. We've talked to CEOs, authors, and on our last flight, the head of infectious diseases in New York. All of them have been quite interesting conversations. You get to relax in luxury lounges. Your first class ticket grants you access to exclusive lounges and airports, the luxury kind where you can shower, get a massage, have your own premium version of duty-free shopping. They've got an all-inclusive buffet or restaurant where everything is included. These are perfect during layovers or before flights. Actually, if you're a medium to high net worth individual, your bank will grant you several perks just to keep banking with them. This may vary from bank to bank, but if you do any sort of private banking, have a black or platinum card, they usually provide you with what's called a priority pass. It's like a credit card that gives you access to almost all the airport lounges in the world. This isn't an ad or anything like that, but you can actually buy it for around $500 directly from their website. Honestly, if you travel often, it's worth the price, but make your bank pay for it nonetheless. Privacy is key. This is the biggest difference between business and first class. You get a lot more privacy with the first class ticket. You can choose to keep the doors open or close them, and when closed, the cabin you're in is like a miniature hotel room. You've got a touch display that allows you to call for service or book time in the premium bathroom. And hey, speaking of privacy, whenever you travel, there will always be prying eyes trying to get a hold of your data. Everything you do online is being tracked, which is why we always use a VPN. VPNs allow you to anonymize and change your digital footprint to any location, so your private browsing remains private, especially if you're going to pull out that credit card. Streaming services or certain publications might not be allowed or available in the locations you're traveling to, but with a VPN, your digital location could be moved back to your home country, so those services become available to you once again. Protecting yourself online has never been easier. Go to alux.com slash VPN and get a subscription, and with one tap on your screen, you're safe. And since you're an Aluxer, you'll get four extra months for free using the promo code ALUX at checkout. We've been using NordVPN for almost five years now, and they've been a solid partner of this channel. That's alux.com slash VPN. Sleeping kits and large bathrooms. Most sleeping kits on first class flights are designer. The pajamas are super comfy. The socks smell of lavender or mint. The toothbrush is nice enough to bring home and the consumables are all the kind you'd find in a five star hotel. Unless you've got a cabin, changing into your pajamas will have to happen in an airplane bathroom. And if you've ever been in one of those, you know it can be both sticky and stinky, but not here. This one is used by only a few people and staff goes in and cleans it after every visit. The newer planes even allow you to book shower time. Honestly, you almost forget you're in an airplane and not in a hotel. Most people flying first or business class don't pay for the ticket themselves. Business class refers to the fact that your business is paying for your ticket. The cost of travel is tax deductible, so if your business is doing well, why not spoil yourself? There are very few individuals paying for tickets out of their individual pocket. Actually, here's a travel hack you should know. It's cheaper to upgrade to business class or first class in the airport rather than it is to book it right away. Usually, only half of the first class tickets are sold beforehand, so the airline is incentivized to give you a nice discount. You might get a $2,000 ticket for only 600 bucks, 
but that is subject to availability. It's a feeling you will always remember, but never be able to relive. The first time you fly in first class, it's an experience. You get chills. You know it's just a flight, but you can't stop grinning because it is that amazing. Especially if all the flights you've had so far have been low cost. The bad thing is, you'll never get to relive this exact experience again since you now know what to expect. It's kind of funny how your mind adjusts to the new standard. Everyone should experience luxury to see what it's like, even just once. We believe that everyone should test drive luxury. Take it for a spin. Save enough money to get yourself a business class ticket just to see what it feels like. Because once you do, you'll realize that this level of comfort is not only attainable, but something within your reach. It'll motivate you to push harder, work harder, and be smarter about your choices. It's even better if you've earned it. The experience is amazing nonetheless. If your partner or suitor is surprising you with a premium flight, you still enjoy it fully, but there's a subtle difference between deserving it and earning it yourself. You might deserve it, but it tastes better when you pay for that meal yourself. For those of you who remember your first business class flight, what do you remember feeling? What was your first business class flight like? And what airline did you fly with? Let us know in the comments. And as for those of you who are always watching these Sunday motivational videos until the very end, of course, we saved you a bonus point. It doesn't change who you are. Sure, the comfort feels nice. All the pampering and attention to detail are all well received, but it doesn't change you. You don't feel different, you're just now a more complex version of yourself. People think that leveling up in life is altering, like an Eve turning into either a Vaporeon or a Flareon, but that's not it. It's your understanding of the world around you and of yourself that changes. In reality, leveling up simply allows you to up the percentage that you know about yourself, so we encourage you to do it. Most people will never fully know themselves because they never fully immerse themselves in all kinds of situations and environments. Don't be one of those people, Aluxer. If you're ready for that level up to happen in life, write plus one in the comments. Let's see how many of you are ready for the journey.